Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to go over what I got during the VIB Sephora sale this spring. And I'm pretty excited about some of this stuff. I got quite a bit for me. I don't usually buy a whole lot at one time. So the first thing I want to show you is this by Pharmacy, the Green Clean Melting Cleanser. And I went online and went to their website and watched a little video about them. And I was so impressed with their company that I want to try some of their other products. Their, specifically their um, SPF, I think would be really great to try. So that is a cleansing balm. I've just recently started doing a double cleanse in the evening. And I never really understood why people did it. I didn't ever use facial wipes. I just cleaned my, I just washed my face once. But now that I've done it, it's really kind of, um, kind of a nice, soothing, relaxing part of the end of the day. And for sure, it gets off all of the makeup that I have on, especially around my hairline. That tends to kind of get, you know, overlooked. So um, then, to do the double cleanse with the balm first, I bought this, which is by Youth to the People, their kale and green tea um, age prevention cleanser. It's in this great glass bottle with the pump. It's beautiful. Right now I'm using um, Body Shop's Chamomile Silky Oil Cleanser, and it's really nice for my skin. I really like it. It is significantly cheaper than this Youth to the People. So I'll see which one um, I like better. And if this doesn't perform well for me, I'll go back to that because I really am enjoying that. And I don't see anyone talk about it on YouTube, which is kind of surprising because there are a lot of YouTubers that I watch. Then I picked up, which is a favorite for me, the C Firma Day Serum from Drunk Elephant. It's my favorite vitamin C. I wear it every day. And then what's new for me I picked up from Drunk Elephant is the B Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel. And I've heard it's not really intense hydration, but the B vitamin in it is great for dehydrated skin. There's dry skin and then dehydrated skin. I do have dry skin, but I also have signs of dehydration around my mouth um, and probably in other places as well. So I want to use this and see if it makes a difference with that. And Stephanie Nicole um, recommended it. I love her, I respect her opinion. She's so well informed. So I think it's worthwhile to give that a shot and try that. Then I picked up another one of my favorite moisturizers right now, the Belief Moisturizing um, Balm, I think it's called. Yeah, the True Cream Belief Moisturizing Balm. Belief has another one that's similarly packaged but it's kind of a blue gel and it's called the Aqua Bomb. I've not tried that. I've heard good things about that as well, but I've not tried that. Sorry, my phone is going off. And then um, I picked up, this isn't skincare, this is by Urban Decay. It's the Grindhouse uh, Sharpener. It's got two barrels, one for large pencils and the other for small. And I tried this yesterday morning for the very first time and I was so pleasantly surprised. This thing is great. It doesn't take big chunks of your pencil off because you can lose a lot of product that way. It, but it's so sharp and um, I am so happy I got it. I wanna get another backup and ones for my daughters because it's the only one you need. I am really impressed with it. Then I picked up a couple of the Sephora Pro line brushes. One is eight, number 18, the shader brush. And then the other one I got is the 27, the blending brush. And I have a MAC 217 blending brush. It's kind of old. And I've noticed recently it's been scratching my eyelids just a tiny bit, that little scratchy feeling. This one is so soft. I'm really happy I got it. And then the other one is a shader brush. I didn't have one exactly this shape and this size. And this works really well for me because I have smaller eyes and so it fits right in to that outer corner, the outer V. It's very precise, I like it. Then, um, this is something I wasn't planning on picking up, but I finally decided to go ahead and do it. It's the 
Modern Renaissance palette by Be Anastasia of Beverly Hills. And you've probably seen it if you've watched YouTube for any length of time. It's a gorgeous palette, very pigmented, very soft, very blendable, unique. Some of these are very unique, especially to me. I don't um, buy shadows that have reds and pinks. I have a sensitivity to the dye in them. But today I came up with something. I used one of the, I used red ochre on my eyes and I've used all the colors now except for this love letter, I think. Oh, and the orange one down here. And I'm surprised that I've come up with some eye looks that I really, really like. It's kind of an intimidating palette to me, but I am so happy that I took the risk and got it. And we'll see if those reds cause any irritation. Usually what happens is my eyes get really bloodshot and have an issue, but so far so good. I'm super happy I got it. And then the next thing is kind of a fail for me. It's the Dior Air Flash Air Spray Foundation. This has great reviews. I got it in number 201 linen. What you do is you shake it up, it has a little ball thing in it. You shake it up, you spray it on a brush, a foundation brush. Um, I think you can use a rounded one. I used a flat one and flat topped one and you buff it into your skin. It's a gorgeous match. I thought, oh my gosh, this is making my skin look sort of flawless. But after a short amount of time, I could tell there was dryness around my nose and mouth and my skin looked flat. It looked a little, my husband said powdery, even though I didn't have a bunch of powder over the top of it, but it looked flat and a little dry. So I don't contour and highlight, I don't do that. So I couldn't kind of break up the, the flat look to my skin. So I'm thinking that I will go ahead and return this. I might try it one more time with a different um, sunscreen underneath because the one that I used was a little mattifying. So I'm gonna give it another shot because I so wanted this to work. But um, if that doesn't work, I'm gonna go ahead and return it so those of you who want to try this type of foundation, you might want to go first and try out the Sephora brand. That has excellent reviews as well, and it's so much less expensive. So if I ever get that feeling like I just need to try something different, I'm going to go ahead and pick the Sephora brand up. Then I splurged, got this Giorgio Armani. It's in number 11 eye tint called Cold Copper. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love this. It is a taupey color. It blends beautifully. You take a synthetic brush and um, blend it out on your lid. You could do it with just a one eye look. And I have dry lids with, you know, a little bit of crepiness. This stayed on all day, did not budge, did not crease, did not accentuate any lines. Um, beautiful. I'm so pleased with it. And I think I'm going to go ahead during the next sale and pick up number um, 11, number nine next time. Let me see. Well, no, I was going to try to show you some, um, some of it, but I've got too much going on on my eyes. So the last thing I got is the Shock Mascara by YSL. And I picked this up after I heard several great rave reviews. <laughs> so as the package was coming to me, I watched another review and it wasn't very good. So we'll see if that works for me. I really like the CoverGirl Super Sizer. I really like the Maybelline Define a Lash for my bottom lashes. What I'm looking for is a mascara that can really help me with my outer lashes. I tend to have most of my lashes in the center of my eye and they kind of get shorter on the outside and I don't want to use false eyelashes. So I don't know if a mascara is going to do that for me, but I'm going to give this a try. If it doesn't work, I'll go back to my favorite drugstore ones. And um, anyway, that is it. If this was helpful at all, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll be uploading new videos every Tuesday and Friday. So stay tuned for that and thank you for watching. Have a great day.